Hello everyone, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. Today I will be doing a love reading for the sign of Libra. These messages will be for January through June of 2021. They will not resonate with everyone. I ask that you take what does, apply it, and leave the rest. Remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell in order to receive notifications whenever I post. So let's get started, shall we? So first I'm going to start with the month of January. So I have celebration in the reverse, promise, and break up. I heard I'll promise that I'll be good to you. I promise that I will be good to you. Yes, but this person broke their promise. This relationship um, did not give you the fulfillment that you wanted. Yeah, like I heard, like for some of you, you were not happy. Yes, this person could not make you happy despite the promises that they made. It's like they always fell short. And I feel like for the month of January, you're going to be deciding to walk away to end things. Yes, for the new year, it's like you want a new beginning. So you're going to be ending this relationship because it can't give you what you desire. So let's see what February has. I have relax, decisions and options, and temptation in the reverse. Okay. I heard make the right decision. So, yes, for the month of February, some of you are definitely going to be tempted or the person that you're connected to. They're going to be tempted. I heard work. So, for some of you... Um, you may be tempted by someone at work, but I feel like you're going to pass the test. Yes, you're not going to give in to the temptation. It's like with the decision and options, you're going to make the right choice, the right decision, and you are going to be very happy about the option that you chose. Yeah, because you chose to do the right thing. And it's like, you're not going to have any worries. You're going to know that you made the right the right choice for yourself and for your relationship. Yes, because it's like, I choose love. I choose real love. I'm not just choosing to have a one night stand, a moment that's fleeting. No, I'm choosing love. Not something that is only going to provide temporary fulfillment. So yes, you're going to be making the right choice, the right decision when it comes to a person trying to entice you. So yes, you are going to be enticed in the month of February, but you are going to be choosing correctly. And this is going to provide you with a lot of peace, a lot of comfort, knowing that you was able to withstand temptation. So let's see what March has. I have compromise, priority in the reverse, and friendship. Okay. I just heard balance. So for the month of March, for a lot of you, it's going to be about balance. Balancing family, work, time with your friends, it's like you're going to find balance. Yes, because you're going to come to some type of compromise with your significant other because I feel like maybe in the past, um, your significant other may have felt like you haven't put um, him or her first or put you know the children first. It's like it's always work. It's always family. It's always friends. You're always busy. You don't have any time for us. So it's like in the month of March, you're going to definitely come to some type of compromise where everyone can be happy and where you will and where you will be able to finally balance everything, you know, give everything the appropriate amount of time and effort that it deserves, whether it's your work, your family, you know, spending time with your friends. Um, definitely you are going to be um, balancing. I feel like for others of you looking at this priority and the reverse in friendship, um, you may be having to choose between your friends and your relationship. And I feel like for a lot of you, you're going to choose your relationship. Yes, yeah, so you may be spending less time with your friends because you want to invest. You want to give to your significant other. Like this is where, you know, your intention is because you want to have something that is fulfilling. And you know that, yes, you know, I do care about my friends, but 
I I want to be happy. I care about my relationship more. I, you know, love my significant other more. And I want to fully invest in this. So I need to stop spending so much time with my friends and give my relationship the time that it needs in order to grow and prosper. So let's see what the month of April has. I have self-love in the reverse, spying, and settling. Yeah, some of you are going to be choosing to remain in an unhealthy relationship. Yes, I heard controlling. For some of you, this person is very controlling. Yes. Yes, controlled. Yes, you're in a relationship where you are being controlled. And I feel like by you allowing yourself to be in an unhealthy relationship, it's like you're not you're unable to give yourself the love that you deserve. Yes, you're not getting what you deserve out of this relationship. You're not getting what you deserve from this person and you're not giving yourself what you deserve. Because for some of you, how can you? How can you give yourself the love that you deserve when you're allowing someone to mistreat you while, when you're settling for less than what you deserve? Yes. It's like by settling for this relationship, by being with this person, you are not loving yourself. You're not loving yourself in the purest, truest form. Yes. You're neglecting yourself. You're compromising your happiness. Just to be with somebody, just to have a relationship, just to please this person. You're putting this person before your own needs and your own happiness. So let's see what the month of May has for you. I have flow in the reverse. I have commitment and I have attraction. Okay. I heard trouble in paradise. Yes. There's definitely going to be some turmoil in the month of May when it comes to a relationship. Yes, a very rough period for some of you. A very rough period. I feel like you and this person, there may even be like a lack of intimacy in the month of May. Yes, because you and this person are not going to be seeing eye to eye. It's like you and this person are not going to be in a good space. Yes, it's going to be a very difficult month, a very trying month for your relationship. But I say, you know, with each trial, with each challenge, it just presents an opportunity for you to grow stronger, you know, and for you to have something to build up on. But this is definitely going to be a month of growth for you that is what i would like to call this a month of growth a very difficult time but it is going to be a time where your relationship will be tested and i feel like for some of you you will pass the test but you just have to make it through this rough patch for the month of june i have affection in the reverse Complicated, solitude, and frequency. I heard no longer settling. So yes, for those of you who was putting another person before yourself in the month of April, no longer settling. By June, you're going to be really learning how to love yourself. You're going to want something better for yourself. Yes, you're going to be doing a lot of reflection. You're going to desire more. You're finally going to realize that this person cannot love you the way you deserve. They cannot give you what you want. Yes, and you're going to be choosing something better. And that something or that someone is yourself. Yes. You're going to be choosing to work on yourself. You're going to be walking away from this toxic, unbalanced, spirit says unstable relationship and giving to you. I feel like for others of you with this complicated and affection, um, whoever you're connected to, this is not um, a serious relationship. I feel like it's a lot of ups and downs. Yeah, I heard like not really in a relationship. Like you and this person... You're not um, exclusive. So you may date other people, 
but I feel like in the month of June, you may hit um, a bit of a rough patch and you might not be um, really on speaking terms. You might not really be um, being as intimate with each other as you once were. And I heard change. I feel like this is because either you or this person is changing. I feel like you're going to want and desire more than what this person is giving you. So it's like you're going to distance yourself from this person because you're no longer going to want to be in an unhealthy or unstable connection. It's like you know that you deserve more and that is what you're going to require. But this person is not going to be willing to give it to you. They're still going to want to have the friends with benefits type of relationship. But you're no longer going to want that. And so you're going to remove yourself from this connection. So let's get one more message. And I just go back to May where there is going to be a bit of a rough patch for some of you. Spirit is saying like you're going to make it through this. Like, yes, you know, every relationship has difficult seasons, difficult periods. But, you know, each challenge presents an opportunity for growth, presents an opportunity for you to um, really come together and build an even stronger relationship. So you are going to make it through this. Yes. Trouble does not last always. You just have to really maintain a very positive um, outlook. And I heard like fight fairly. So don't hit below the belt. Don't say things that you're going to regret later. You know, definitely think before you speak in the month of May. It says, may I embrace what's happening right now, as baffling or painful as it is. Help me, God, to trust where you are guiding me. I am yours. So, yes, hardships. Yes, without hardships, there is no growth. So, yes, every relationship has its ups and downs, especially the couples who are going to be experiencing some type of difficulty or challenge in the month of May. Hardships is what helps to make your relationship grow stronger and it also helps to make you stronger as a person so it's like yes may i embrace what's happening to me now may i not run from it may i face it head on yes may i just deal with the issues at hand do not try to you know um move away from the problems so that you don't have to deal with it do not try to push the problems down you know a lot of times we try to camouflage things you know pretend like it's not there no deal with it by dealing with it that is how you heal so yes heal heal your relationship whatever issues that you know you may be facing and then it says help god help me god to trust where you are guiding me yes you are being led you are being guided trust trust the process you may not understand it you don't know what the future holds for you, but trust that there is a better day coming. You will see the sun. Just trust that things are going to get better despite what you see. Faith is about not what you see, but faith is about believing in the impossible, believing in a better day, believing that everything is going to work out despite the fact that you may feel like life is falling apart around you. Yes, believe. Believe that the situation is going to get better. Believe that your relationship with, will get stronger. Every hardship, every hardship is an opportunity for growth, is an opportunity for a new beginning. Whether it's a new beginning in your life as a single person, in your relationship, Whatever challenge, difficulty you face offers an opportunity for a new phase in your life to begin. 
So I hope that these messages resonate. Remember to stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Everyone stay blessed.